Claire, this is your first time at CBI conference. What are your impressions? Um, this is an amazing event. It's a real privilege for Williams to be a part of it today. Um, just the delegates that are here and the, the speakers the CBI have managed to attract is a real, I think, sounding board and, and health check for, for the UK industry at the moment. Success for, for your business is very, very public. Um, what are your priorities to maintain and actually build on that success? It is. You know, we go racing 20 times a year and our successes and our failures are there for everybody to see. 100 million people watch us go racing. So we have to make sure that we're competing as competitively as we can be. So for us, that is all about building the most high performance and competitive race car that we can. So it's all about shaping our business to achieve that objective. But to do that week in, week out, Formula One is a development war at the end of the day. And if we don't innovate and keep up with our competitors, then for us, that spells failure. So for us, as a team of course it, the inevitability is that winning is our overriding objective but at Williams we also have an advanced engineering business um, that sits alongside the F1 team and for us that is all about taking the technologies that we've developed in Formula One and commercializing them and bringing in an additional revenue stream for our business to help us compete on the racetrack. You talked this afternoon about some of the partnerships you have with other businesses. You're at the cutting edge of, of racing technology, um, but also you're working with some other household names. Tell us a bit about that. This is one of the kind of unhidden secrets about Formula One that we don't do enough to talk about, and that is about the work that we do away from the racetrack. Formula One is not just about going round and round in a circle and someone standing on the podium and spraying champagne. Formula One incubates and develops um, amazing technologies that forever in our sport have always trickled down, predominantly into the automotive sector. But at Williams, we've developed an advanced engineering business that predominantly focuses on energy efficient technologies and the lessons that we've learned through the hybrid technologies that have been introduced in Formula One over the past six years. We've developed those and we're now taking those out into um, different industries, different sectors, not just the automotive industry. So we're working with various different companies in different sectors from aerospace to defence. We've got some great projects, um, one of which you mentioned, the project with Sainsbury's and Asda at the moment, where we're using airfoil technology to harness the energy lost through the refrigeration units that they have in their supermarkets. And we've enabled them to save 30% of their energy that normally dissipates into the aisles that makes you so cold. So as a Formula One team to be doing a project like that with the brand, brands like Sainsbury's and Asda is a phenomenal um, testament to success I suppose and testament to the technologies that we've developed in Formula One that we can then take out into the, into the wider market, commercialise them importantly but then also use them for, for some good and around the energy efficiency um, conversations that are going on in society at the moment.